Yo guys, it's Arcade and today we are going to make Happy Future Bounce. So let's get to it. So the first choice you have to make is, do you want to start with the drums or the melody? At least that's how I start. So I'm going to go with the drums right now. So let's go to Kashmir's pack and let's get some cool kicks here. I like this one. So we start with the kick. Usually a nice snappy kick. We can put it in the playlist over here. And let's get some pre-shifted clubs. Those are my favorites, especially for Future House. So with pre-shifted clubs, what you have to do is zoom in and check where the club really starts. So this is the pre-shifted part, and this is probably the starting point, or maybe even this. So we're gonna just hold the Alt key and move the club, and we're gonna test it out, and it has to be here. Okay, first of all, it's way too loud, so let's lower the volume. But yeah, the rhythm is correct. So now we hold shift and we duplicate it and it's gonna stay in the same grid position. And now we just do the same for the rest. This is our basic drum beat. To switch it up a bit, maybe we can add another clap with a bit of a reverb. So I like this one. You can also just manually add the reverb, but let's try this. And we're gonna add it at the fourth one. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I like to do that so we have a bit of a variation in the drum. So the next thing is the hi-hats. So cymbals, open hi-hat. So let's do this one. Maybe this one. And also I'm going to enable the swing, which is this right here. This is going to make everything sort of more groovy. So again, without the swing, it's like this. But with the swing, they are like closer together. You see the difference? Hopefully you do. I think that's great for future house tracks. You want that grooviness in there. Okay, another trick we can do is go to the open hi-hat, enable the envelope, lower everything except the sustain, put that all the way up. Maybe a bit of a release as well. And then we can actually go to piano roll and make different lengths of the open hi-hat. So this one will be shorter. Why? Again, to make it more groovy, you know? But ideally, we want to extend it and make another variation over here. Maybe like that. And then we can add this other hi-hat, which is uh, way more subtle. And we can do something like this. Okay, so that's our hi-hats. Let's hear them with the rest. And I'm gonna shorten the kick. I think it's too bassy, so we're gonna just increase the out knob, which is gonna fade it out a little bit. So the bass is not as big in the kick. One more thing I wanna add in this drum loop is some percussion. So this is not always in Future House tracks or Future Bounce tracks, but it can be there and sometimes it actually creates this rhythm for the whole song. So let's see if we can do that. Macklemore. Do, 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 do. Okay, maybe this one. Let's see. This is gonna be like an offbeat. Shorten it again. This is the drum loop that we created. And if we don't like something, we can delete it. Or if we feel like it needs something, we can add it later. So now that we have the drums, let's move on to the composition, the melody, the bass, stuff like that. So I'm gonna start with the composition using a piano. So I'm gonna load up Nexus and choose my piano. And now we wanna build our chords and the melody at the same time. And we're gonna do it with a piano, but we sort of wanna imagine how it would sound with other sounds, like more electronic sounds. So yeah, first of all, the rhythm it needs to be something bouncy, you know? So yeah, I'm building up the rhythm and I'm already imagining the whole song pretty much in my head, you know? So that's what you have to do, that's sort of the mindset you should have when creating the composition for a future bounce track. We are playing with the piano, but we want to imagine it with all the other sounds. So yeah, that's my chords, like the bass notes, pretty much. Now for the chords, we're just gonna do the simple ones. So 
So I'm building the chords here and as you can see it's this shape to create a minor chord you skip two notes then you put in the third one and you skip three notes and put in the fourth one that's a minor chord and for a major one you just move the middle note one up so two spaces and three spaces is minor and three spaces and two spaces is major now we're gonna do that for the rest of the chords so just select all these go here So it sounds good. So if I put a minor in here, you can hear it sounds off. So when you don't know whether it's minor or major, just try both and whichever sounds better, that's the one you use. And we have the chords ready. So now that the chords and the bass notes are ready, we can move on to the melody. So again, the melody, I'm imagining it with the whole song. I imagine a big lead sound with slides, not just the piano. So keep that in mind. So the way I create the melody is I sort of hum it in my head and then I put those notes in the piano roll. So I sort of do it by ear. And we can even shorten some of these notes and make them different sizes. That's gonna matter when we add the proper sounds because the length of the note changes the whole groove. So yeah, this is the melody here and we wanna sort of repeat it again over here but do a little bit of a variation at the end. So yeah, the reason you do the variation is so it doesn't repeat itself constantly and so the listener knows that this is the end of the repetition, end of the loop. So then we have a melody like this. Excellent, I really love this composition. I think it will work really well in the whole song. If you want to learn more about music theory and compositions, check out Melodics. Melodics is an app that helps you build your skills on the MIDI keyboard, but it also teaches you a lot about music theory and how music is made in general. You have over 1500 courses, lessons and exercises to help you get good. If you want to practice your fingers, check out the exercises. To learn how to play some exciting songs, check out the lessons. And to learn more about music theory, from the very basics to more advanced stuff, check out the courses. If you don't know where to start, just go to the guided section, which is designed to teach you key musical concepts. For me, the courses are the most exciting thing. For example, this one, if you just want to learn about rhythms, or this one, hip hop harmony slash chords, if you want to learn more about unique chord progressions. So let's check this one out. And the best thing is that learning this is actually kind of fun because they made it into like a game. So here's an example of a lesson on my little mini keyboard. So yeah, and the more courses you do, the more you can progress. So I think this is an excellent app for any music producer. And the best thing is anyone who signs up with my link below gets a chance to win a thousand dollars by the team at Melodics. All you have to do is enter the promo code and not only do you get a chance to win a thousand dollars, you'll also get a huge discounts on monthly and annual subscriptions. So check it out, don't miss out on your chance to win, but if you sign up you'll win anyways because you'll get to learn something new about music production. So yeah, it's a win-win, link is below and now let's get back to the video. Okay, we are back, we have the composition, now let's focus on the sounds. So I'm gonna start with the bass. So we want something bouncy, but with a little bit of grit, so I like this one. And right off the bat, I'm just gonna do it and put sound good on it. To me. So yeah, that's just gonna compress the sound and make it a bit more fat. So now I'm gonna go to my composition, take these lower notes, which are the bass notes, copy them and put them into my new sound. Put it octave higher by holding control arrow up. As you can hear, these notes are really low. So what we're gonna do is select these low notes and put them octave higher as well. Now they are going to be in the range which is better for this bass.
We can also add another sound, which will be like the sub bass. So perhaps this deep one. Let's see if that will work lower. So yeah, a bit of an adjustment here, and we have sort of a sub bass. Another thing I want to do for all the bass sounds, and pretty much all the sounds in this song, is sidechain them. So I'm going to create this mixer track called SD, and I'm going to color it as well, just so we see it. And I'm going to root all the sounds that need to be sidechained to this track. The bass is on number 5, so I'm going to root it to number 6, which is the sidechain track. And I'm going to put a kickstart plugin here to do the sign chaining. So you can use other plugins like the limiter or the low filter. I'm going to put a tutorial on sign chaining in the link below, but I just like the simplicity of this kickstart plugin, so I'm going to use that. So now every time the kick hits, theoretically, the sound is lowered. That means the kick will be more obvious in the mix and it will sound more clean. So one more thing I want to try is do the portamento here. So we have some slides on the sub bass. So in Serum, just enable Porta, do Legato, and if you add this node here, you're gonna have this slide. Without it, it's like this, but with it. So just go octave lower with the node and make sure this one sort of overlaps with it. Then you get that slide. What if we could do up slide? Yeah, why not? Okay, good, we have the sub bass, and now we have this other sound that I used originally. So what we're gonna do with this one is put it on a separate channel and remove the lower frequencies from it. So since we have a sub bass, we don't actually need the bass from other sounds. So I'm just gonna remove the lower frequencies so it doesn't overlap with the sub bass. And also, I definitely wanna make this longer. Reverb. Okay, how do they sound together? Right off the bat, the drums are a bit too much. So I think I'm gonna even delete the hi-hats first. And probably change the clap. So again, you have to make these adjustments as you go, and you have to be the judge of what is good and what is not. I feel like the clap it's a bit too white noisy. I want something more gritty, perhaps. But if we change the club, we can select all the clubs in this track by holding control and selecting with the mouse. And then we have to move all of them again so they are starting on the right moment. I think I like it now a lot better. This is also a nice sound. So yeah, I found this other sound that I might use. So these sounds are from the Spinning Records, Spinning Future sample pack. And yeah, this sound sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna add it, why not? It's another layer, again, delete the bass from it. So now let's add another sound and that will be the chords. So I'm gonna go back to my composition and I'm gonna copy the chords. Now I'm gonna use Serum again and let's see what we can use here. There is many options. Maybe just basic hypersoul chords from Serum itself. And I'm gonna make this longer so it's not as choppy. Mess with the reverb. And I have it on channel number four, so the lower frequencies are deleted and it is sign chained. So let's hear it in the song. And it sounds pretty good. Now let's add the melody. So for the melody, I'm gonna go to Nexus. And let's see, some nice lead. Saga. So again, go back to your composition and copy your melody. Find the right octave as well for the sound. Okay, I like this. Now let's add another layer and that's gonna be a bit lower. So we have two different octaves. Okay, let's just try how it sounds in the song. Pretty good, but the mix is just off. So we're gonna fix that. So before we do anything else, we gotta do some mixing. So here is mixing 101 for Future House 
for anyone who wants to know. So first thing first, let's put wave candy in here. And we're going to change this to peak meter, the preset. Close it down. And now we have this nice decibel meter. So now we're going to check the volume of each sound. And the kick should be the loudest one. Kick. Okay, let's do minus five for the kick. So let's increase the volume until it hits minus five. Okay, that's about right. So now the clap uh, around minus 10, minus nine. Sounds good. Sometimes you gotta go by ear, sometimes just follow the numbers. That's fine. The hi hats. I'm gonna keep them as they are. Let's hear the drums all together. Okay, the hi hats can be higher. So I'm gonna increase the volume. Okay, I like that. Now let's take a look at the bass. So we can either preview each sound by itself, but that's not gonna give us a precise result. So we wanna preview all the layers for the bass together. Perhaps the sub bass can be separated. So the sub bass is minus eight. How about these two layers? Around minus 14 jumping around here. So I think we can boost one layer. So now the hyperso chords. So they are pretty loud here. I think what I'm gonna do is put them on a separate track, route them to the sidechain track, so it's still sidechained, and now go to EQ and lower some of these frequencies. So for sure the low frequencies, we don't need them. but maybe even these ones. So now it's a little bit more quiet. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. And now the melody. So again, preview both layers at the same time. So I do think I'm gonna change the sound actually. So this layer. And this layer. Okay, this layer I don't love. So let's try like a plucky sound here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put these on a separate channel as well. Mixer track eight and sign chain them. We delete the low frequencies again because it's the leads. We don't need the bass there. And I had sound goodies on it. So I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna preview it without the leads for now. And let's see if it's better now. Okay, so the drums are more obvious, which is good. I feel like this kick is still too bassy. So I'm gonna cut out even more of the bass. Now let's hear it with the melody. Okay, I'm starting to like it. It's definitely more clean. Okay, another thing, as I mentioned before, the length of the notes matters. And here, these sort of lose power, especially these ones, you know? So we definitely have to quantize them. So select them and press Control Q and we can make them longer. So some of them, you know, you don't have to make all of them long. It depends on what kind of rhythm you actually want. So now we need to add some effects because those are the ones that are going to make it a bit more interesting and fill out some of the spaces. Exhaust. Let's check some of these and see which one fits the best. And we can also sidechain it as well. So it's sort of pumping. But we need something more uplifting. We can actually add a proper white noise loop here. We're gonna create it using three times oscillator, change all of this to this. Now we have this white noise and we wanna sign chain it as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do it manually here. So just put a note in here and hold control and select like four bars like this or four beats. And we're gonna create automation clip for the volume. We're gonna put it all the way down and then create like a thing here. Something like this should work just fine. And then you have sort of a sign chain for the white noise. So you can adjust it however you want. And we're gonna put it on track number 10. And if we wanna change the volume of this, make sure not to move this one because that is the one that's actually automating it. So just change this one. 
But we can also change the tone of this or like the color by moving some of the filter knobs. Or changing it to high pass. Okay, it's getting there. We need to work on the melody a bit more, on the sound especially. So let's see what other sounds we can try. Maybe add some more reverb on it as well. And of course, at the end of this repetition, we delete the kick and sort of do a fill here. So I'm gonna make this unique and the last few notes will be only the lead. Or maybe some other sound. So let's uh, clone the melody again. And layer it with another lead at the end there. Really simple, but that works pretty well for fill. Another thing we can do is add a crash as well. Like this one at the beginning here and here as well. And what we can do is reverse it as well. Make it unique. Double click it, reverse. Just cut off the end and line it up like so. And the fill is getting together. Okay, but that's not it. We want to add more things there. So we can actually go to fills and add one like straight up. Okay, maybe something like this. That works, that works. Okay, I'm thinking of adding another layer to the lead. So let's see if that works. I don't know, I just feel it needs a little bit more. And I'm going to add this one separately. Let's copy it. Ideally, something that is different than the rest of the sounds. And sub drop. And another thing is to color it, of course. So just press rename and color. Choose your first color, light blue, and probably like purple. And there we have it, guys. There is our finished result. A little future bounce drop. Let's have a listen. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Make sure to check out Melodics and get a chance to win a thousand dollars and learn more music theory in the process. So all the links are below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.